Good day, everybody, and welcome back to taking on the internet's toughest football quizzes. I had a lot of fun last time out playing Sporkle quizzes and Missing Eleven, so we are back kicking things off with football. It is the football version of Wordle. If you don't know what Wordle is, sort yourself out. That's not even a chronically online thing. That was something that people would talk about in the day today a year or two ago. Granted, it's not as popular anymore, but Wordle is a game where you have to guess what word it is based on how many letters you are given. So for this first one, we are given a footballer with a five-letter name. I'm going to kick things off with Pedro. We will see the accuracy of that. We got two letters correct, an R and an O. They're in the wrong spots, however. I'm going to try Mario, as in João Mario. Did we get it correct? We didn't. I should have known the O was not at the end. Is it Armando Brogia? Oh, there's there's no A, but we have got Bro. Like a broom. Br Is there a brown? Is this like... Izzy Brown, who used to play for Chelsea. It is. I wonder who they're meaning by Brown. I don't know which player is specifically being referred to there. It could be Phil Brown, who's doing the karaoke when Hull City got Premier League survival that time. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to go for Aaron Ramsey as a six-letter name. We've got an R and an E in the correct spot. That's lovely. Let's go for Lovren. It does fit the criteria. There's an R and the E is in the correct spot. Not Lovren. We also have an N. Who could this be? And the R has to be the third letter. Erner. Werner. He it! I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty terrible at this game so far. The answers really don't come to you. You have to think for a minute. I wonder who this could be. Is it Joe? What am I saying? I'm completely wrong. Just disproved within a few seconds. Let's just act like that one was impressive. A six-letter name. I'm going to go with Julian Brandt. Covers a couple of letters. We've got an N and an A. Morgan Sanson. Has to be an Elka. Surely. Yes, we've saved it in the last second there. I want to get this one quick. We've got a four-letter name. I'm going to go with Isco. Nothing correct there. Not a single correct character. Adrian Mutu. We've got the Ut. Robert Huth. Boom. A seven-letter name. Let's go with Sanchez being Alexis. Could it be Kevin Voland? Could be. It's not. We're getting there. We're getting a little closer. There's no O. Bit silly from myself. Almiron. 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 Look at this beautiful hot as well. Okay, that's partially why I was lifting up my arms. Also, no pit stains. And it is absolutely scorching outside and inside. That is a monumental achievement for myself. Just had to let you guys know. On to the next. An eight letter name. That is long. Goretzka. Thought we almost had it there. Garnacho? Okay, we've hit form. We've hit form. One of these is gonna be Isco someday. Is it Luca Tony? Oh, it's Meza Ozil. It is Meza Ozil. Just my favorite player of all time. Safe to say that's a bit of a howler considering that man used to be my lock screen and there's two posters of him in my room. Arigi in the mood of players starting with I. We've got a G. Let's go for Gamez. Jesus Gamez. We've got the A. Is it Colin Dagba? Oh, it's not far off. This would be Bakary Senya. So I was on the right track with these right backs. This French right back before him. Six. Gonna go Ramsey. Is it Sancho? Ooh. S-A-N-O-L. Sanol. Sanyol. Willie Sanyol. Another French right back. I'm struggling big time, so this is going to be the last one we do before we move over into some Sporkle quizzes, just like the beauty of last time. Gonna kick things off with a nice seven-letter name, Iniesta. Done well. Done very well. Okay, we're too close to fail this. Ali... Something son. Alison. Wait. Alison. Alim San, I mean, what a player. We all remember that goal he scored in the World Cup against the Netherlands. Now I have moved swiftly over to everyone's favorite trivia site, Sporkle, for the hard FIFA World Cup quiz number one. The question on everyone's lips, though, how hard is it? The answer, 
Uh, I'd say about a semi. I mean, I can see myself back on the camcorder. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a little bit inappropriate. 10 minutes to play the quiz. 20 questions. Let's go. Coming to international public awareness during the 2010 World Cup. What is the name of the long plastic horns? Vuvu Zuela. And I've spelt it correctly. The only country to have won both the men's and women's World Cups is surely Brazil. Germany. That's the one. Which player held the record for most matches played at the World Cup with 25 before Lionel Messi? Lothar Mateus. I think he played in 82. And he got recalled for France 98 and he played in everyone in between. Which included three finals. Who's the only World Cup nation to not progress from the group stage? That's South Africa. Who's the only player to win the World Cup Golden Boot Award for a team that were eliminated in the group stage? First few tournaments were Stabile Leonidas, then Eusebio, then Muller. Is it Solenko? It might be Solenko. Yes! I was so grateful I didn't have to think back to Chile 62, whoever won the joint golden boot with Amarildo, because I was not going to get that. I only know one thing that rhymes with Ildo, and it's the plastic one I have under my bed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit far. Who's the only male footballer to play in the final three consecutive World Cups? I think Cafu. 94, 98, 2002. Four months before the 66 World Cup, the World Cup trophy was stolen. The name of the dog who found it is Pickles. R.I.P. Because I think he died while chasing a rabbit? Chasing a squirrel, maybe. Not the most dignified way to go out, but he saved the Jules Rimet trophy, and that is what matters. Which team withdrew from the 50 World Cup? I think it was India. <coughs> Who's the only goalkeeper to win the Golden Ball? Oh, the only goalkeeper to win it, Oliver Kahn. The 86 World Cup was held in Mexico after which country originally selected resigned due to economic reasons? Colombia. In Uruguay's final group game against Italy 2014, which defender did he bite? Chiellini. 17 years old, who's the youngest player? Norman Whiteside for Northern Ireland. At Spain 82. Who has managed the most teams in the World Cup? I think maybe Carlos Alberto Pereira. I did spell it correct, but it is not him. He managed UAE, Brazil, and I think maybe Egypt. We'll come back to that. Who's the only team to go and beaten in 2010? New Zealand. Three draws. Top score of the first World Cup was Stabile. Who holds the record? Youngest player to be sent off the World Cup at 17. And he's been sent off at two different World Cups along with Zinedine Zidane. 17. Someone got a red card. Don't think I'm going to get that one. What kind of creature was Fuleco? The mascot in 2014. Armadillo? He looks like an armadillo. A Brazilian three-banded armadillo. I'm glad it allowed that. I was not putting all that in. In 82, the World Cup match between West Germany and Austria is known as the Disgrace of Where. That was the Disgrace of Gijon, where Algeria were knocked out as a result. Only footballers score hat-tricks at two World Cups. It's a cracking one, isn't it? It's got to be one of the guys at the all-time top scorers list. Klose, Muller, Ronaldo, Mbappe. Got to be one of the all-time leaders. Close did against Saudi Arabia. Never got a hat-trick again. Mbappe got a hat-trick against Argentina and a brace against Argentina in 2018. Uh, Thomas Muller did not get a hat-trick in the South Africa World Cup, but he got one in 2014 and he got a brace. So many of them who got a hat-trick in one tournament and a brace in the other tournament. I've literally just named three. It's a disgrace. A brace disgrace. Final one is who playing with his native Argentina, then with Italy, is the only man to have played in the final of two different World Cups, two countries. I actually don't know who that is. Could try Raimundo Orsi, or... That is such an interesting one. I'm really curious to find out who that is. I'll... The other ones, I'm not going to get, so I need to think of who has scored a hat-trick in two World Cups. That's my only chance at getting another point. Enter Valencia has got a brace in two World Cups. How about that? Got five seconds left. I'm not going to think of any of these, particularly the World Cup double hat trick one. Batistuta. Fair play. Rigobert's song was the one who got a red card at 17. And the guy who managed five teams at six World Cups is Carlos Pereira. I put Carlos Alberto Pereira because I'm just so smart. I know his middle name. So I'd like to say I actually got 17 out of 20. Luis Monti is the man who played in two World Cup finals for two different countries.
Average score is 42%. Apparently, I'm playing with way more than a full deck. I had a lot of fun. That is where we are going to end the video today. If you want to see more football trivia content and general football content, we've got a lot of that coming on the channel soon. So make sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video as well, and I will see you next time.